There are financial crises now all over the world. Jobs gone, livelihoods lost. But here in Lebanon, it is on a different level. This is a snapshot of a country broken. Ilias is a father on the move. He isn't going far, just from one street to another. The family belongings in the trolley. Evicted from the old home, and now moving to the new one. And this is it, this room, and the kitchen, bathroom behind, for eight of them. They have already been told they need to move on again in a month. 60% of the people in Lebanon could be below the poverty line by the end of the year. 60%, and that is the view of the country's own economy minister. Beirut's main public hospital is named after the former assassinated Prime Minister Rafi Kariri, one of generations of leaders who have consistently run the country through mismanagement and corruption. They're giving us a tour to see their challenges. So the, the ER department is now just for corona patients? Yes, it's just for the corona patients. Corona is, of course, a huge concern. They had contained it, but now the numbers are rising fast. The problems here, though, go well beyond the virus. Thank you. I'll follow you. In the neonatal intensive care unit, they want to try to show us that they're still coping. But the drugs, imported from abroad and now unaffordable, are literally running out. Thank you. So the major problem at the moment is the lack of material, uh, and this is not only at our hospital, but it's uh, it's worldwide. But it's Me really medicine, you mean? Material yeah, yeah. medicine, yeah. Yeah, medical material that we use. So it will soon not be possible to care for babies like Shireen, born with brittle bones and in the most desperate of states. In another ward, a father with his daughter who has leukemia. They have the drugs she needs for now. The power went down last week and the generator back up too. The hospital manager is consumed by it all. We are really uh, so much on the uh, uh, on the brink of you know we are working with so many shortages that it will be very difficult to pinpoint a certain services i think that all the services that we are providing at the hospital are in danger back in the neonatal icu this is the sort of victory that keeps them going a little boy very premature but he has defied no. the odds, breathing now on his own. It's a good news story. Yes, exactly. It's a <laughs> success story. <laughs> but still, in order to treat and care for these children, you, you need the equipment and yes, you need exactly, medicine. Exactly. And that's hard to get right now. That, that's hard to get given the financial, uh, the financial crisis and the number of patients that you are accommodating at the hospital. Beirut Central Square was packed with hope last October, but the people's revolution came to nothing. Sami Zorheib is an economist, but a citizen too, just trying to make ends meet. The amount of loss is actually estimated by the government and the IMF to be around a hundred billion dollars. A hundred billion? Yes, and this in a country like Lebanon, that now expected to have a GDP of 33 billion dollars this year, is three times the size of the economy, and this is quite gargantuan. And quite, uh, you know, I, I personally don't think there has been something of this size in the history of modern economies. There are just two hours of state electricity a day here now. Even the traffic lights are out. The politicians who caused all this are now pleading for an international bailout. Without it, the collapse of a nation is close. Mark Stone, Sky News, 